Okay, continuing part two now of the Telegraph Avenue exploration. And that building totally new. <laughs> At least the outside of it is. Oh, I remember that used to be a vacant lot, totally vacant. For the whole time I was here, there was nothing there. So that's what they've done. Well, interesting to me. Probably quite boring to you. Most of these restaurants are, different, are new, as often happens. Places change as the years go by. Now there's one, Amoeba Music. Again, another record store. Hasn't changed. Still the same. Um, now coming up here, this corner shop used to be a very famous bookstore called Cody's Bookstore. And it has a little plaza in the front. People used to hang around out there and play music and sell crafts. Those days are gone. When you turn left up here, you get to People's Park. You just about see the writing in the distance. But that, I'll go up there later. Crossing now. Amazing new building there in the lab. So the Cody's books has been totally gone, it's gone years ago. I heard about that from a, a guy I met at Oxford who was from Berkeley and told me all about it. This block has changed so much. But one thing that hasn't changed is Moe's books. Moe's books is coming up on the right. Um, everything to my left has changed, it's all new. I don't know what that even is. Now, there used to be a very famous cafe there called the Mediterranean, I think it was one of the first cappuccino Italian style espresso cafes. It was right over there. It's now Sojo Ramen, so it's completely gone. And we used to sit out there many happy days. That little recessed entryway. And you could go back and there was an upper story at the back. But this this is most books. Hasn't changed at all. At least not as far as I can see. I don't know what happens as regards getting in. Oh! Most books, 11 to 5 p.m. So it looks like you can still go in there. Face masks required. Check in before you enter. And that there's most books, much the same. Go downstairs for the new books upstairs. There's several floors in there. A book I will have to go in there and explore that later. Well, there's a little history of it. So there you go. You can pause it there if you want to read the history. And uh, wow, just as it always was. Getting to the end of the four blocks to the center of the universe as far as I, I was concerned here in Berkeley and I would say that the majority of the businesses have just changed as expected I even forget what that was on the corner now I'll have to explore some of the side streets that's pretty much it no point walking back up again I'll just show you this little area that I think you saw in a video before that's Dwight way to get to my house I would go up there and then off down Benvenue, which was in the other video. Um, oh, look, here's Pete's coffee. Pete's has spread out all over the place. And I quite like Pete's. Katmandu Imports, you may see that in the distance. That hasn't changed. Hasn't changed. And down there, you see that little triangular area. Hmm. Save People's Park, everybody loves it. But now, they, sorry, they fenced off. They fenced off that area now, and that wasn't fenced off before. Hmm. Well, there you go. Um, later I'll go down there. Not that I might go down there right now. Let's go over and have a look. And just see. Um, I'll wait for the white man.
Looking down to light. And up to light into the Berkeley Hills in the distance. So I hope to go up at some point on foot. Lights are changing. My big moment comes. Crossing. So the only thing there is Katmandu import still the same. The rest has changed. Down here. Oh, it seems like it's all locked up now. So you can't get in there. Crossing. There used to be a little computer shop down here where I know I could have bought a plug and a USB cable. Whether they're still here, I don't know. Oh, yes. I think that's where I bought many a pair of sandals and shoes and things. Young's backpacking. So that's still there. Hats. You've got your hats. Or at least Marshall and Company. Well, not very many places have completely closed anyway. Not on those four blocks. Now I'm going on to a fifth block. Racha Cafe. Is that Thai? It is Thai. No, I seem to vaguely remember this one. Yeah, they used to have a nice Thai salad here. But, uh, well, you can't expect the menu not to have changed. Plenty changes as the years go by. That I think is where the computer store used to be now, Bay Jiu Jitsu. So that's all gone. In fact, it's closed up in there. Uh, the Thai restaurant's still there. Hmm. Yeah, might be worth a try of that. And then. That's about it. So I think what we now need to keep going at this point. But that gives you an idea. Telegraph Avenue as it is now in 2021. With more reminiscences from the past. Okay, I'm going to leave you here with this scene. I'll talk to you later. Bye.